So glad you're back. Um, we're going to do some mindfulness and movement uh, along with our book, Little Cloud and Lady Wind. And um, so I thought I would bring some other parts of our um, piece table back into the fold. But before we get those pieces out, let's sit up nice and tall in a mindful body. And if you can see me, I am sitting on my meditation pillow. Um, when you're at home, you can sit on a pillow. This one is kind of like a hacky sack or a bean bag where it kind of um, has, feels like be excuse me, beads in there. So it's super cozy and it helps me sit up nice and tall. So rest your hands in your knees or your heart or your belly. And Take so two slow, deep breaths in and out. And listen for a mindful bell. Raise your hand when you no longer hear the sound of the bell. And um, I have our breathing ball, which I thought is perfect to have our breathing ball since we're talking about um, wind and clouds. So let's take a deep breath in and out with our breathing ball. And if you're like, I don't have a breathing ball at home with me and I'm not at school, Miss Mont, you can bring your hands together like a ball. And bring your hands back to your knees. Awesome, perfect timing, Bob. You want to sit back to back with me? Sure. All right, so we're going to sit back to back. And I need you and Luna to scoot up, okay? Because we need some space. Mm -hmm. Sit back to back. You okay? No, I mean, I'm, yeah. Okay, turn like this and then come into easy pose. And sit up nice and tall, awesome. And then make sure that Good job, bud. That works. Our backs are together. And let's take a couple deep breaths here and see if you can feel my breath through your back body. I felt I felt it. And take both hands up into cactus. And we're going to take our left hand to our right knee and our right hand behind us. And then sit up nice and tall again and look over your right shoulder. And exhale, let it go. And as we inhale, we're going to lift up and go the other way. We come out of twist with our inhale. Behind us, right hand on your right knee. Bring our belly in and up. Lift the shoulder and look over your right shoulder. Awesome. Inhale back to the center. And then we're going to come up to standing. I'm going to do a couple more partner poses. All right, so... Bend your knees. I'm going to do this. Okay, bye. Thanks. Bend your knees. And <laughs> towards me. Bend your knees. Hold my forearms. 
And we're going to send our hips back and our heart forward. And like we are sitting on a chair. It's kind of like chair pose. So come up a little. You don't want to go, yeah. This is cool. Send your hips back. Send your inner thighs back. And then send your heart towards me. So send your heart towards me. Good job. All right, now we're going to look under this. Nope. Ah, stay there. If one person comes up before the other, one of them might fall back. We're going to lift this and look under. Keep leaning back. Awesome. And we're going to straighten that leg. You straighten your left leg. I'm going to straighten. Whoa, my right leg. It's my first stretch since my run this morning. My right hamstring is tight. All right, come back through the middle. Bend your knee. Bend both knees. Send your hips back. Heart forward. And then look at it. Straighten that leg. Yeah. Send that hips back, leg, hips back, hips back. Good job. Inhale, bend both knees really deep, like parallel with the ground. That's too deep. <laughs> yeah. Hips back. Yeah. Heart forward. <laughs> Are you breathing? <laughs> Breathe. Come all the way up. Good work. <laughs> All right, while we're standing, we're going to make some trees since we're talking about wind. Um, we can face me. It's cool. We can go this way. And then um, come on to a kickstand with your favorite foot. Start here. And then try to use this outer hip to squeak that knee out. Awesome. And take your hands up to the sky. Lift your heart. If you feel steady here, you can slide your foot up your shin, but not by your knee. No, yep. Keep your toes pointing to the earth. Try to, try to squeeze with your hip to open that knee out to the side. Yeah, bud. Good. That was good. All right, like Lady Wind in our book. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your hands down. Good job. Now let's go to the other side. Get steady on your. Other foot, you can start here. Hug your leg into your knee or, or your leg into your shin, your shin into your leg. And then start with your hands lifted. All right. And stay here. Squeak that knee open towards the wall. Good. Yeah. If you need something to hold on to, you totally fold it. Slide that foot up. Our lady wind. Take a deep breath in. Press down through your foot and get taller through your side. All right, exhale and bring your hands down. Super cool. Turn and face towards the front. Thanks, Rainy. Bring your hands to your hips. Press your feet down. Lift your toes up. Awesome. So get your feet parallel and press your feet down. Awesome. Inhale, reach your hands to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, look forward. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, walk all the way out to a plank pose. Walk out to a plank. Hug your legs in towards each other. Bring your belly in and up. Hi, Luna. And then walk your feet so they're touching, bud. Walk your feet so you're touching. And press your hips more towards the dog. Yeah. Then you're going to go onto the outside of your left foot and your left hand. And you're going to lift your right hand up. Or you're going to go this way, too. Cool. We're going to do side plank. Awesome. If you feel a little sturdy here, you can lift your top leg up. All right, bring it down. Bring that hand back down. And we're going to go the other side. Turn open. Spread your fingers. Press down through your fingers and through your feet and lift your hips. Maybe lift your top leg. Whoa! Is that a human or a dog? All right, ready? <laughs> Your hand and your foot down. I don't know what's going on back here. I'm not good on my back. I can't follow you. Oh, 
one side's harder than the other. Sounds right. Send your heart forward, send your feet back, and then exhale, come all the way down to the elbow. Press the tops of your feet down, hug your elbows in, send your heart forward and up first, snake pose. And then come back down through all fours. And then press back, press your big toes together and press your hips back to your heels for child's pose. Deep breath in child's pose. Inhale, walk your hands back, come to all fours for cat cow. And then tuck your toes under. And press up to down dog. And bend your knees, press your hips up. And then bend one knee as you lift the other hip higher and straighten that leg. And then go the other way. And then walk your hands back to your feet. So you're to forward fold. Down at your feet, make sure they're parallel. Lift your toes, bend your knees a little bit, send your hips back, press down through your feet, reach your hands all the way up. And exhale your hands back to your heart. Awesome job, buddy. Good work. All right, let's step out wide. We're gonna do one more pose. We're gonna do a warrior pose. Will you face me with this one? So we wanna go, um, as wide as our wrists, so bring your wrists out. Make sure that your feet are about underneath your wrists. You want all 10 toes pointing towards me. All right, cool, bring your hands back to your hips and then scoot over, Lumi. Thanks, girl. Oh, your front legs, we're gonna turn our feet towards that way, perpendicular. I'm gonna turn this down so they could see our feet. Turn our toes and our foot that way. And then if we had our fan, we could make a line and it would go to the instep or the heel of our back leg. Then we're gonna bend that knee in a 90 degree angle. Map in yoga over our second toe and reach our arms out for our warrior pose. So bud, walk your feet out because now your stance is a little shorter because you moved back for Etta. I mean, not Etta, Lina. And that's why your knee, when it's bent, goes way over. Yeah. Now press through that back standing leg. Good work. All right, bring that hand down the back and lift the other one up. Awesome job. Bring your hand back. Turn all toes towards me. And then jump your feet together. And turn the other way. And then jump your feet out. And turn your front toes towards the front. And make sure that that ankle is in line with your back and step or heel. Take your arms out to the side for our warrior pose. Bend your knee over your second toe. And then inhale, go with your back hand and go down on your back leg. Lift your front hand up. And then exhale, all the way back up to warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips, turn all toes in the same direction. And then jump your feet back together. And then turn like that, like it was windy. And then come all the way down, easy pose. There's Luna, It's a lot going on in our little cloud and lady wind class today. And find an easy pose. Or here is posing sit up nice and tall. Taking a couple of deep breaths in. Think about something in your life where um, you are like Lady Wind and Little Cloud, and um, where you needed to listen to yourself and be your best, brightest self so you could help out your group, whether it's your classroom or your team or your family, right? When we show up and we align with ourselves so we can help others, it makes a difference. Thanks for being with us today. Kiran, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.